Once again, we have verbs in our answer choices, but these are not verbs that I really need to think about as singular or plural. We do have the word uh, illuminates in choice B. That is a singular verb. But the others don't really have that property, right? Let's just take a word like D, illuminated. We could say, uh, he illuminated the path with a light, or we could say, they illuminated the path with a light, right? Notice whether we're talking about one person or multiple people, we're still using the same word illuminated. And in most verbs in English, there is no singular plural, it's the same. So most of these answer choices, with the exception of B, do not have any sort of singular plural like difference. So it's probably not about that rule, it's probably about past, present, future, right? Which one do we need in terms of the timing of the sentence? So let's take a look. Uh, each night in Gijon, Spain, a section of the city's marina is bathed in a soft green glow. The source of the glow is the Arbol de la Sidra, a large sculpture made up of 3,200 recycled glass bottles. A lamp inside the tree-shaped structure illuminates the green glass. Like, I can just kind of tell that that's it. And the reason is they're talking about it in the present tense, right? The glow is... Um, this this sculpture, right? It is bathed in a soft green glow. So we should stay in the present tense. And that's what this really is, right? It's not the future. We're not talking about like they're going to build the sculpture and then it will be illuminating the city. No, that's not it. It's not wood. That's also kind of like a, a version of the future tense, right? It almost implies that it hasn't happened yet, but it could, it would, it happen in the future. I don't know. And then illuminated is the past. Um, I think the reason people are going to pick this is they're going to look at the other verb here, where is it? Uh, that's uh, maybe recycled or made, right? Because you're going to, that sounds like the past tense. He, he you know, he made a mess, right? It sounds like the past. Um, but here it's more like descriptive. It's more of like an adjective. And it's, it is describing like maybe like in a way, the way that it was made when they made the sculpture, when they built it in the past, but we, the sentence in the blank are talking about right now, right? It, uh, the structure illuminates the green glass. It's happening right now. This thing is still around. It is not, you know, uh, uh, just to, like taken apart, this sculpture, it still exists, I assume. So, um, with these ones, I do think that once we recognize that it's not about singulars and plurals, or it's not about sentence structure, when we have these verb tense questions that are really about the past, present, or future tense, what it comes down to is, you know, what is the sentence kind of pointing you towards? And in the absence of any very clear clue that makes us go into the future or the past, just stick with the present tense. The simplest present tense is probably right. A lot of times you can just hear that, especially if English is your native language, you just kind of intuitively sense which tense is going to be best.